Hi guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in a new lecture of ETAB. So the, guys, in this particular lecture, I am going to assign the different different loads condition on this particular building. Okay, and I will create the loading combinations. In tomorrow lecture, I will update you related to the overall designing of slab, beam and columns. Okay, and after that, we will do the foundation designing. So according to that, okay, and after foundation, you will get the share wall detailing. Okay, with the help of that, your all ETAP multi story building design will be complete. Okay, and after that, we will jump on the steel structure, okay, which will help you for a betterment. So, first of all, what you have to do, just go to the all story, come to the plan of the top 10 story one, go to the select, go to the select object type and select the beam first. Okay, click on select and close. Now, you can see all beam are selected. Okay, after that, just go to the our Excel sheet and you can see on wall leading we used to provide the how much 14.55. Okay, so 14.55 is a loading condition what we need to provide. Okay, per square feet. So just go to the ETAP, assign, frame load, distributed. Okay, and type 14.55. Okay, now here if you select gravity, no need to add the minus sign, but if you select the Z direction, you need to select. If you select the Z direction, okay, then you need to select the, you need to provide the minus, minus direction. But hence, it is already gravity, then no need to select the, no need to provide the minus direction. Okay. After that, just click on apply. Okay. And click on okay. So you can see the loads of the wall is assigned properly. Understand? Now after that, what you have to do is, when you assign all the beam, now just select the slab. So I'll selecting the slab. Okay. I selected all the slab. Now go to the assign. Okay. Frame load. Sorry. Shell load. Uniform. So here we need to provide a uniform shell load. So how much we can provide? Here we have the slab load, uh, lie, lie load of the 2 kN. Okay, and rest is dead load of dead load. We need no need to assign because it is already calculated. So lie load it is two, and the floor finish is four. So we need to provide six point one five five. Okay, we are going to provide only five kilonewton because the reason is there is a loading condition lie load may vary. Okay, it becomes one one two two kilonewton. It vary. So we will assign only five kilonewton. Okay, and apply. It's it is a dead and live. So just select. Uh, 1.5 as a lie load okay just select the lie load apply okay close again select all shells just go to the assign shell load uniform and now assign the rest like uh, 4 okay as a date load apply okay understand so like this we provided all the loading conditions patterns okay now let's analyze with respect to these conditions only in tomorrow lecture i will be analyzing the loading conditions because first we need to assign okay with respect to the normal loading condition we, we need to do the all calculations tomorrow lecture we will assign the earthquake loading and the wind loading definitions and the combinations and according to that we will define we will analyze and then we design okay so just click on the analysis so we will get an information like yes our dimension is too small okay we will get to know yeah that yes we need to maximum shear forces may lack for the uh, proper dimensions okay that's the main reason that why we are analyzing our model without the earthquake and the wind loading to identify whether it is properly uh, fluctuated or not it take time just allow it to take properly analyze time okay okay now you can see it's very huge deflections okay so just uh, remove this model okay right after that just come to the make it in plan itself okay just come to the elevation okay i'll uh, i'll better come on the elevation number five 
okay or we can come to the elevation 113 okay so go to the elevation it's 13 okay apply okay right now let's check the share force and bending moment let's check the share okay okay so you can see that your building at bottom is very less share and that it is increased and maximized at minus 21 okay minus 35 right let's check share okay in 2 by 2 pattern okay like this you can see the maximum share over here okay it's balance okay right now let's check the deflections the bending moments okay you can see the bending moments are huge not we can say huge it's very less bending moments 16 kilometer is not a big one okay let's see the moment two by two in like columns here also the bending moments so as per the properties what we assign we might assign the frame section as beam you can see if you if you double click on beam okay we provided dimension 300 by 400 okay and the column is what we provided is a, a 700 by 600 so it's okay according to column we are getting the less uh, shear force and bending moment okay so that is okay with us but if we are not getting the reinforcement it means our deflection is too high we can do the changes in the beam so tomorrow lecture we can increase okay or we will first design with this same dimension and if we got the no rebar section okay like let's see in analyze okay we can check the uh, we can also see the degree of freedom okay so we have the very good degree of freedom like full 3d x y plane and all okay cracking analysis option uh, we can analyze the model for a non-linear hinges okay it is not available now okay so yes according to this what we have run is that our model is uh, properly analyzed now we just need to check during the assign during design we need to first check whether our model is a uh, properly uh, like provide a bar or not so i'm just unlocking my model okay when i'm unlocking my model so you can see we need to again check few these few things like just go to the assign like analyze okay check model okay select all apply okay so when you are doing this particular exercise we get to know whether our there is there any repetitions or our model is uh, any errors in the model that we will get so we just need to wait for a few minutes you can see that uh, here we are getting that 22 warnings okay we have so you can see that uh, story number 10 b20 and b41 are overlap each other okay so on b because we know like when we design a model you during that time we overlap few things okay so we need to remove the beam number 20 and beam number 41 beam number 20 and beam number 42 okay so this is what uh, overlap we need to remove then at story number 10 the f50 f18 and f14 are too close okay uh, f14 and f15 are too close on same story the same pattern like the whatever the beam we have okay the f are too close but yes because these are too close because we have prepared our own design so don't worry about that this warning we can provide a combined footing okay here we can provide a combined footing for our columns because we want the stability in your building when this particular kind of the uh, errors or warning you get so you need to prefer the different kind of the foundation or footing okay this particular scenario we will remove in next lecture okay so have a nice day guys bye bye